today I want to make a video about trust in the process. I feel like a limited belief that I've had. Once you got clarity, life just becomes perfect and you have all the answers and you have this roadmap to get everything that you want to get. And just because you have an aha moment, uh, a breakthrough, a quantum jump, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't mean that things still won't come up or that you won't still have to face obstacles. And obstacles don't even necessarily have to be always physical. It can be you uh, feeling like you're not good enough, just having some type of limited belief. It could be your fears that end up resulting in this, the form of like procrastination, just anything. It could be small, even though those aren't small. But um, I just feel like obstacles are still gonna come and we're still gonna happen. And even though I had like this new, found understanding about certain things or certain aspects of my life i still feel like there's just so much that i don't know and i guess it kind of got me feeling a little lost right now like i think i know what i want to do how to move forward uh the necessary steps to take but at the same time i feel like my thoughts are still getting the best of me and it has me second guessing and it's not allowing me to fully embrace change how I would want to or how I feel that I should be right now because I've had moments of clarity. For example, I am still trying to be in control of everything in my life. And you know how you can go, like I went through one of the like toughest times and like one of the toughest lessons due to not surrendering and not letting go to the point where I said, okay, now that I'm out of that, I will never get into that space again. And I feel like I'm right back in it. And I feel like life is this, just has endless lessons. So it's like, yeah, you had to learn to surrender by having things, things removed. But now that you're in a different situation, how are you gonna go about it this time? And are you still gonna surrender? Or are you still gonna basically continue what I've been doing and I'm still on that track of slowly just I'm just trying to get out of that space of always having to do something and to be in control like I, I'm just trying to get out of it and this is really it's really hard for me right now so I'm feeling a lot of resistance it's like okay I have all this time on my hands now so let me dive deep let me get back into my coaching business what do I got to do to start this process for the podcast? When am I going to finish this ebook that I've been putting off for the longest? And it's like I'm constantly still trying to figure things out on my own to the point where I'm not allowing the opportunity for God and just my guides in general to show me the right and necessary steps to take because I'm still trying to figure them out on my own which got me in trouble the last time so it's like <laughs> you went to be like oh yeah i learned my lesson but it's still a process like it, it you want it to be so much easier than what it is and it's really not it, it's, it's multiple layers and multiple steps to it i'm just trying to get used to this resting stage and it's just really the best way i can explain it is just i'm resisting it like I'm, it's something that I'm not used to, so I'm trying, but I feel like, you ever try something so hard that it's just all wrong? It's like you're trying too much, like you're thinking too much into it, so you're doing it the wrong way. Um, and I just need to be okay with it. Like the other day, I was talking to one of my best friends and it, something was said along the lines of um, like come over and hang like you ain't doing nothing anyway like along the lines of that and I know that's not how it was meant but you see how it could easily be uh, turned into a projection if you're not self-aware like at first I'm going somewhere with this story like at first I was it kind of stung and I almost got triggered and defensive and the old me would have came up with this long list of things that I've been doing behind the scenes or just trying to find ways to justify what I'm doing my time. But I had to stop myself because I caught myself because I knew that was something that, that had to do with me. You know what I mean? Like 
that had nothing to do with the person who said anything because they weren't saying it that way but for me just this time of rest is very awkward and weird to me so when it comes off like that it's like in your mind you could be thinking that you're not doing anything and it's like one I know that's not true I know I'm not just sitting around not doing anything and two I don't need to always be validating what I'm doing like I know what I'm supposed to be doing here right now and that's resting and healing and it's just really it's a hard and uncomfortable space to be in and you see how your mind can go crazy and how the, the the work that it takes and it requires for you to be okay to not take things personal like that and to not go down like that could have went completely wrong and I could have went in my mind and played it and not said anything about it um if I did really wasn't paying attention I could have just not said anything about it and I could have just been sitting with that like putting that on myself like you really ain't doing nothing oh you should be doing something else you should be doing more so then I would put project that and would be this subconsciously putting all this stuff on my plate that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm supposed to be doing right now like it's it's, it's taking me away from the initial stage that I'm in right now what I'm supposed to be doing I hope this makes sense and I want to put this out there because I know before sorry I was at this space where when I was still in my research process and people will always say this is your time to rest God's telling you to rest or God's telling me to rest and when I first heard it when you hear the word rest you're thinking okay I'm gonna just lay around I'm gonna sleep I'm literally getting rest in the form that I'm not doing anything I'm just gonna wait and to, to see what happens but that's not what resting is that's not what the resting stage is it means to rejuvenate it means to work through your limited beliefs and for you to get open so that you're able to understand when you get to the next step what to do when you get there it's about being aware it's about healing so that when you are there you're like okay cool i'm ready for this i got this i've been putting the work in i understand and also another part about the resting stage the hardest part is having faith and trusting because this is your time to go against what you know, which is go, 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 and to trust that it's okay to do inner work. If people don't understand, it's a whole goddamn job within itself. If I'm like literally doing inner work and I say that I'm working on myself, like literally I'm doing self-care, I'm reading, I'm taking like actionable steps to, to literally heal. Like that's not no little baby that's not baby steps you know what i mean so it's like you're not literally resting you're resting in a way where you're not on goal mode and you're just making drastic decisions and you're just going and being led blindly and you're not knowing what you're doing and like before i'm running a business not knowing how to fully run a business i'm not doing things the way that properly should to where me resting i'll have a better understanding of what all of this means and why i need to take these steps so that i can understand when it's time to get back into my business i'll know how to properly run it to where i'm not getting burnt out to where i'm not making the mistakes that i made the first time basically so resting stage literally doesn't mean rest and it's important to be so confident in yourself at this stage because you can't allow anyone or anything external to break you away from what you know deep down also one minute you're cool one minute you're not one minute you understand one minute you don't it's so it's just a lot going on right now like i feel like also i'm at a space where it's like okay i gotta make money how i'm gonna make money I don't you don't want to run out of the money that you have and basically end up worse than you were before i'm supposed to be serving others at all times i'm supposed to be pumping out videos on my free time and not really feeling it at, at moments but was going to force it because that's what you do and then it's like i've done that before so it's like i don't want to get to a space where it's no longer fun i forget why i started it in the first place what i loved about it and then it starts to become about i can do it because of this or 
what what will I gain from it? You know what I mean? And that's not real. And it's that's just a trap that I am trying to get out of because it didn't work before. So I need to make sure that I'm paying attention so that I'm not it's just so hard not to fall into old traps because the old traps are I wouldn't even necessarily say they're easy because they're not really easy, but it just makes you seem like you're doing more, like you're productive, but nothing really is coming from it, but just you seeming productive. Like nothing, there's no real results or no consistent results because you're not going in it in a, a healthy way. And that's nothing but ego, that's nothing but scarcity. Just trying to trick me into being stressed again because I feel like that's what it thrives off of. And I also am starting to feel like I don't need to be making sit downs at all times in my life in order to give back. Giving back can be so much. It can be giving somebody a compliment. It can be just walking past somebody and smiling. It could just be keeping my vibrations high and just staying in a nice positive energy. And I need to make sure and I'm focused on being good for me. And no matter how much of a healer or empath I am, I will help others by me working on myself and healing myself. I read this quote that said, words don't teach, life experience does. And I know it hands on, like I know there's so many people that I watch on YouTube or just see other videos where it's a, it's a healthy inspiration. And they're not doing nothing but just living their life. They're just traveling, they're just, just doing whatever they wanna do. It don't even have to be like all this crazy stuff, but they're just living their life and I truly believe that that's inspiration and that can be a form of giving back. Like giving back doesn't have to be this big, massive thing to where like I'm completely changing the masses. You know what I mean? There's no need to put that much pressure on myself, but I still want to change and, and help people in certain ways, but I don't need to put so much um, emphasis on just one source. And life, it, it, life is just so simple. And I think a lot of us forget that, especially like I'm really guilty of that. I always say how, just like when older people, if you talk to older people and they give you like just a one liner, it's like when you're younger, you're like, okay, that was very vague in, in general. Like, what does that even mean? But then as you get older, it's like, yo, that was life changing. And they didn't even have to say anything, but it said everything. And I feel like that's just life, but it's, it's easier said than done to just constantly be able to remember that when you're in your head and you're constantly fighting all the 20 voices and, and different scenarios and just everything running through your head. It's hard to always remember how simple and easy it is. And then when I get back to remembering, I'm like, how did I get away from this? And I hate that I get away from this. I hate that I allow my mind to get the best of me and to allow me for moments of time to forget who I am and forget what the main point is. So yeah, I'm just trying to get real comfortable with being uncomfortable in this space. Just being able to be just the, the trusting of it just sitting quietly to feel ease to feel acceptance to be able to receive it's the stillness of it all and i'm just trying to get comfortable with that so something else i don't know if it's just me or if this is as a whole collective um i've been feeling you know how they say like the eclipse and the new moons and the um just all the different uh i don't even know what they're called i can't think of them right now but i don't follow them enough to in astrology enough to know if that's the reason why but i've been feeling so emotional i i, I just i've been crying so much lately and it's more of emotion it's more of like a sensitivity like i'm not really sad but Say if I'm watching a video and something nice is happening and this person got this, like I'm so happy for them where I'm like placing myself in that space and I'm feeling the emotion and I'm just bawling of happiness. 
I could be watching a normal ass commercial that has nothing to do with anything and I am ready to cry. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on or where it's coming from. Well, I do, but I had to sit with it in order to understand and know where it was coming from. I just, I do believe that it was a bunch of suppressed feelings that I've been keeping in for years and I never got to really address them because I'm always being busy, you know what I mean? And I never gave them the full attention that they needed or just a space of being in stillness to where they were able to come up. But I feel like they're all coming up at once, all together. And I just feel like I'm going through this phase of emotional purging where I'm just releasing and letting go of all this baggage and just unnecessary stuff that I was carrying this whole time that you really don't pay attention to or get the understanding that it's even where it's coming from, where the root, where the root of it is coming from. But when you're in this space, it, 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 it just comes like there's really nothing that I can do but to feel the emotion now because I have the space. And I see why people, I would say give up on their, their journey or how they always try to be around other people or just try to uh, avoid a long time because and avoid these stages because it's very it's just like a heaviness of it's just a bunch of emotions and you don't really know how to take it in and it's just like but it's necessary and I feel like if you continue to be super busy or if you continue to avoid the feelings and the emotions they just get they just get so much stronger and they become ho harder to deal with and i think that's where the form of like depression and stuff can be a form of it can come from this is because you're not dealing with stuff and you're like why am i feeling this way why do i feel this heaviness why do i feel sad why do i feel unhappy when i feel like i should be happy right now it's because there's a lot of shit that you didn't deal with and you're still not dealing with from god knows how long and it's still following you and it's not going to go away it'll go down and it'll go somewhere else for a little bit but it's going to come back up you're never going to be able to ignore it no matter how much you try i have to constantly tell myself every single literally every single day that it's okay to just be it's okay and that i am doing enough i feel like sometimes we try to put certain things on other people of why we feel the way that we feel but majority of it is ourselves putting this pressure on ourselves and this this hardness on ourselves because we don't know what to do or we can't really fully relax because we are not really taught that what's helping me the most god has been showing me vividly of what my future looks like it's to the point where i feel the feelings of what I'm feeling there I can see I can touch what it's like there and what's hard about that is sometimes you can be like oh my god God really has this faith in me he believes in me like he's showing me that this is what I'm capable of like I've never seen it so clear in my life to the point where sometimes we as humans we try to it's like, okay, now he understands. Now he knows. Now he's shown me. So now what do I got to do? Like, how can I get this? Or um, how many times do I have to show up to get that? And it's like, how, how, how? And that's not our job to know the how. We don't even want the stresses of what comes with the how. That what stresses us out the most is because we are constantly trying to do things on our own and trying to figure it out when we see certain things because it's like okay if he sees me here so i'm right here so that means i gotta do this and do this and do this but it's like do you think do you really know if you're really supposed to do that it's like we are always trying to dictate the how and it's not to say that once i do get the nudge when he tells me what to what it is that i need to do i'm gonna i'm gonna go hard and i'm gonna go all in but i think it is important to just have that balance to where i'm not burning out or losing sight of the bigger picture you know what i mean i'm still trying to learn and sit with just allowing things to flow 
to flow in and to come in authentically and just allow it to happen. And I have to realize and tell myself that I don't need to be constantly motivated or I don't need to be constantly moving in order for these things to happen for me. And the more I'm starting to go on and, and the more that I'm learning, I'm realizing sometimes, you know, when people use the word purpose, purpose we think is like so, I keep using the word massive, like it's so big, like it's just, it's, it's so, it's just this big drastic thing that you have to do and we just keep searching for it and we keep searching for it and it's like i'm starting to realize like sometimes purpose don't have to even do with career it doesn't have to do with money it's more about how you engage in life who are you being most of the time like are you trying your best to see the positives out of every situation no matter what's being placed in front of you or are you just thinking that your life is so hard and how um, because of your circumstance like you just fuck the world and you're just thinking negative you're not appreciating the things that you have now or i can't be happy until this happens like that's a part of purpose it's who you are being every single day and we get a choice and i think it's really important to know that with us having the choice bullshit is is inevitable we are forever going to have to deal with bullshit i'm pretty sure that people who actually have their manifestations and is living their life that they want to live that they still have bullshit that they still have problems i feel like the more that you grow and you're learning i feel like your reactions is is really important in how you view things and how you react to circumstances and how life is going to keep on life and no matter what so how are you going to look at it how are you going to allow that to affect what you got going on and what you want out of life and the happiness that you want are you going to allow it to just take over and you're just going to be like all right I'll, I'll give up or are you going to embrace the change figure it out because why it always works out it worked out the last time it worked out your whole life that you've been going through stuff it's going to work out again so instead of stressing what can you do how can you look at it in a different perspective to where you're not allowing it to dictate your everyday mood or just how you live life and it's just about who we are and how we just keep on going despite what we got going on in front of us and how it just makes us stronger and more resilient so with this process of just trusting i feel like my goals everything is so crazy because things are constantly changing you know what i mean like every single day something is changing and i feel like my goals obviously are still to get the things that i want to still get my manifestations but i feel like my goal right now is to seek alignment. I want to be so deep in alignment that my dreams start to chase me. Like that's huge. And that just shows you what type of mental space that you have to be in and how you have to be okay with everything that's around you. You're not putting all these unnecessary stresses and these invisible timelines on yourself and you're just enjoying the process and allowing things to work itself out and knowing that everything's going to be okay. I'm still taking it day by day because earlier i was fine but who knows how i'm gonna feel tomorrow or in a couple of days like it's it's never going to be the same it's because we're constantly learning and it's something that's not comfortable and it's like i feel like i'm gonna be in a great space and i'm gonna be in full alignment when i'll be able to surrender and to trust and to um not listen to all the other stuff that comes up that's not from God or not from my intuition, you know what I mean? To where I'm I'm okay and I'm enough. I'm fully enough and not just telling myself that I'm enough, but actually feeling that I'm enough and that I'm doing enough and that I am exactly where I need to be right now. So, and also I gotta keep reminding myself, life is not supposed to be hard. It's not. It's not. I feel like this message today, I just had to get it out. I feel like this wasn't just meant for me. I feel like somebody needed to hear this. Just know that you are okay. You are exactly where you need to be. 
everything is fine whoever anything or anyone who is trying to tell you anything different fuck them because they don't know only you know your path and I believe people who are in this space that I'm in, not everybody's in this yet, but I know there's people who have or surpassed me, but the people who are exactly in this space that I'm in, we can't listen to people who don't understand our journey. Do you realize that we will allow people who are still in society, who are like hustling, 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 who have all this, everybody now is like, not everyone, but a lot of people are working and still not even able to make it people are unhappy these are the people who are telling us that we need to be joining them and being happy as well it's like why are you even promoting that you don't even want to be in it so you have to stay strong and you have to know that this path that you're taking right now doesn't make sense to anybody but you and you have to keep on going because there's nothing but greatness that's going to come from this this space because we're doing it the correct way it's the correct way for me i always try to say it's the correct way for me and what i believe is the correct way i can't speak for anyone else everybody else has their own goals so but the people who are in this situation who are trusting the process and in their resting period and actually are trying to trust it's it's tough but we need to pay attention to what we're taking in and we need to learn to use discernment and only take take what resonates with us and leave the rest because we don't have time and we cannot afford to be listening and getting sidetracked off of shit that don't even pertain to us right now. Focus on positivity, protecting your peace, finding the smallest enjoyment, and just show yourself grace no matter what you're going through right now because honestly, those are like the only thing that we can control. We can only control ourselves and what we're trying to bring to fruition. So everything else, we have absolutely no control over. So don't you got to tune it out and you have to trust the process and just keep on following the line we're going to get there i don't know when but we're going to get there so thanks for watching and stay strong and i will see you in the next video